With the choose function in Excel, you can enter a number as an argument and a list of values. Whichever number you put, that value from this list will be returned. You can have up to 254 values in the newer versions and only 29 from Excel 2003 and earlier. For the first example, we'll enter a month number and we want to know what fiscal quarter that's in. Our fiscal year starts in July and you can see here we have a table of months so starting from 1 to 12. The fiscal year starts in July so those three months are quarter 1, 2 and then back in January it would be third quarter and fourth. So when we set up the choose function we're going to look at this month and that will be the index number in our function. So equal, starting with an equal sign, choose, open bracket, and then click on the cell that has the month number and a comma. And now we're going to have our 12 values for the 12 months. So going back to our table, we can see that we start with three, and then, so there are three threes, then three fours. So I'll type three, 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 then four, whoops, need a comma there, four, 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 then we'd start the fiscal year with one, 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 and ending with two, two, two. Close the bracket, press enter, and so we can see that month eight is in fiscal quarter one. If I type a two here, February is in the third fiscal quarter. So that's one way you can use choose. Another way is with a starting date, we can determine what the next Monday is. So if it's January 6th today, then we can figure out what day of the week this is and then how many days we'd need to add to that weekday number to get to the next Monday. And you could set up a little table like this to figure it out. So each weekday has a number and we'd add a certain number of days. So if it's already Monday, we'd need to add seven days to get to the next Monday. And if it's Tuesday, we only need six and so on. It starts with Sunday and it's only one day to Monday. So. So in this cell, we're going to start with an equal sign and then click on today's date. And to that, we want to add a specific number of days. So with the plus sign, we'll enter choose. And to get our index number, we're going to figure out our weekday. So weekday and click on our cell for today's date. And then we're going to enter this string of numbers that we want to add based on the weekday. So 1, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, or 2. Close the bracket. And the next Monday after the 6th is January 10th. And for a final example, we can also use a range instead of a list of numbers we could use a list of ranges. So if we have three stores, we can enter a store number here and then total the sales for that specific store. Our choices are going to be store one, two, or three, and these are numbered 101, 102, and 103. So we're going to, in our formula, subtract 100 from the store number to get our index number. So we'll start with a sum and then within that we'll do our choose. We're going to have a store number entered here and we're going to subtract 100 from that to get the index number. And for our first value we're going to add store 1 range then store 2 and a comma and store 3. And to finish, we'll put a bracket for the choose, a bracket for the sum, and press enter. 
So here we have store 101 and its sales. If I put in 103, we'd see a different total for its sales.